Okay, let P and Q be natural numbers such that Q is the square of a natural number and, and these three lie between 0.5 and Q, uh, 0.9. What does this mean? It means P upon 15 is between 0.5 and 0.9. Q upon P is again between 0.5 and 0.9 and P upon 13 is also between 0.5 and 0.9. This is what it means. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes students assume this means 0.5 less than P by 15, less than Q by P, less than Q by 13, less than 0.9. This is incorrect. This is what it means, right? Now let's look at solving the question. And here I will again be using the choices. Okay? Now it says Q is a square of a natural number. Now please look at this. Okay, let me write it down. P by 15, Q upon P and P upon 13. This has to be less than 0 0.9 and this has to be greater than 0 0.5. Now the only na only squares of natural number which are less than 13 because P by 13, sorry, P, oh, sorry Q by 13, I'm sorry. Okay, the only natural number, uh, yeah, so, so since this has to be Q upon 13 and Q is a square of a natural number, what that means is Q should be less than 13 because Q by th uh, 13 is less than 0.9 but Q by 13 is also greater than 0.5. So what natural number squares are less bit available to us which are less than 13? 1, 4, 9. 1 is definitely ruled out. 1 by 13 will be less than 0.5. 4 by 13 is also less than 0.5. That means Q is equal to 9. So 9 by 13. Okay. So what are we supposed to find? We have to find. So Q is equal to 9. I hope there is no debate. So what we need to find is 3p minus 3q minus, I'm sorry, 3q minus 2p. Now what is 3q going to be? 27 and 2p is going to be even. So when you subtract an even number from an odd number, what do you get? You get an odd number. So what cannot be equal to? It cannot be equal to 4 because 4 is an even number. I don't need to do the rest of the calculations. <laughs>